Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix crashing, black screen issues, other GPU and RAM related issues in Battlefield 6 Red Sec. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right. Step number one is heading over to settings onto your PC. Once you're over here, simply search for core isolation. Now, all you have to do is simply disable memory integrity on your PC and see if that helps you to fix these issues. You have to restart your PC, check if all of the errors are gone. Next step, head over to gaming and then game mode and then turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background. Head over to graphics and then enable optimizations for windowed games. Click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and disable variable refresh rate then all you have to do is click on add desktop app button over here and before that right click on your game click on manage and then you want to have to click on browse local files then copy this file path click on add desktop app and then paste the file path right over here now you have to select bf6.exe click on the add button select gpu preference and set this thing to high performance if your system has integrated graphics as well as hardware graphics this will ensure that you're using your hardware graphics to run the game over your integrated graphics Next step is opening up command prompt, running it as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to type in two commands. First one is SFC space slash scan now. Press enter and this will run a check on your PC. It will find any corrupted partitions on your windows and any deleted files that might be responsible for causing these issues. It might take a while, so you wanna have to keep it running in the background. And if it finds anything, it will automatically fix those issues. The next command that you have to type in over here is chkdsk space c common c colon space slash f press enter and this will run a system check and a volume check on your pc right after the boot next time simply press y over here and press enter next time when you restart your pc it will check your local disk c for any violations next step is fixing all of your packet loss ping issues and other network related issues using lago fast i have left a free download link to lago fast right in the description below once you open it up you'll find a library of more than 500 games to choose from simply click on battlefield 6 and then select the nearest region to you for me it would be middle east and the smart node will automatically find the closest server to me again that is dubai bahrain and it is giving me 66 milliseconds of ping click on one click boost and that should boost your game right away it helps you to fix all kind of packet loss ping issues and network related issues on your game lago fast also offers tons of game tools over here which includes secure boot check to see if your pc has secured boot enabled it could be a leading cause of game not launching up and if you guys might be facing such issues you can again enable secure boot by scanning this qr code more tools like optimize cpu usage best graphic settings and other settings over here which will help you to optimize the performance of your game and fix any kind of issues that might be causing it it also has an inbuilt fps boost section wherein you can apply the best cpu and gpu settings however i'd not recommend you guys to go for gpu overclocking simply apply these settings over here and it will help you to boost your fps in the game as well simply go over to vouchers you guys can use code bearfox over here simply click on redeem and you guys will be getting a 62 percent off on the annual membership i have left a free download link to lago fast for you guys to go and check it out right in the description below third step is setting up virtual memory and for that search for it adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here head over to the advanced tab and then click on the change button over here then you want to have to uncheck automatically manage paging file size and then click on custom size now you want to have to set this initial size to 1024 and the maximum size should be half of your total ram so open up your calculator and then you want to have to multiply your ram that you have on your pc for me it is 32 gb so multiply it with 1024 and divide it by 2 the value that you get over here it should be pasted right over here and then click on no paging file and then click on the set button over here next step is deleting shader cache it is really important and could be the cause of your game's crashing issue. For that, press the Windows key and then type in Disk Cleanup. Simply open it up and select your local disk C. Then, you're gonna have to select DirectX Shader Cache. I regularly clean it along with the delivery optimization files and temporary files. Also, you can delete the Windows error reports. 
make sure all of that is selected and click on OK. Select delete files and this will clean all of the DirectX shader cache and will force the game to recompile all of the shaders again which might fix any kind of stuttering and black screen issues. Next step is deleting the Battlefield 6 folder from documents. For that, simply open up file manager. Over here, head over to the documents folder and then you'll find battlefield 6 folder under which you'll find settings, steam and then you'll find prof save and steam auto cloud. All you have to do is simply delete all three of these files from here and then close it. This might also fix any kind of issues that could be causing launching errors while you are launching the game. Next step is disabling any kind of overclocking software if you have any. I do not have any overclocking software over here but if you guys use Intel Extreme Tuner, Ryzen master msi afterburner or any such tools that could be causing overclocking on your graphic card or changing in the profiles i would highly recommend you guys to reset that profile back and delete that program from your pc and try again dx12 is very sensitive with overclocks and if any overclock is applied it could be a leading cause of these crashes now if all of that didn't work the next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc search for it and then open it up. Then all you have to do is select your local disk C, click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on OK, click on the create button and name it BF6 just so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step to ensure that your system remains safe. Once that's done, simply close and close system properties. The next step is Battlefield 6 RedSec Error Fix Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It is relatively huge and it has 8 folders, all of this which will help you to optimize performance of your PC, install dependencies required to play the game and fix any kind of issues. Starting with the first folder that is Visual C Runtime Latest. All of these PC Redist files over here can be installed with one single click, right click and run this as administrator. Second folder is update DirectX which is really required to render all of these games. Right click and then run it as administrator. Install DirectX on your PC. Third one is Battlefield 6 priority. For this I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services according to your system which are relatively useless and could be a leading cause of system resource consumption. I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of these services except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services. And once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Fifth folder is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. Right click and then run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command on your PC. Press enter and then head over to power plans. Then click on show additional plans and switch from balance to ultimate performance. This will disable any kind of power saving features on your PC that could be causing such issues. Once that's done, simply close it. Next is GPU optimization registries in which I have left asynchronous shader optimization, GPU priority, GPU energy driver and increased power efficiency. I would recommend you guys to run every single one of these files over here and it will help you to optimize the performance of your graphic card. Seventh is batch tweaks and over here I have left disable memory compression. This is optional and it will help you to fix RAM related issues. If you guys are facing RAM crashing on your PC, all you have to do is right click and then run it as administrator. This will basically help you to disable MMA gent memory compression on your PC. If you are facing any issues after this, simply open it in notepad, change the disable to enable like this save it and then run it again as administrator and this will re-enable memory compression on your PC. Next one is process mitigation. You can disable that to optimize the performance of your CPU. Last is MSI Utility V3. Right click and then run it as administrator. Once you're over here, you have to find your graphic card in this list. Select the MSI button and for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Click on the apply button and this will apply the best interrupt priority for your graphic card, allowing it to handle more interrupts more efficient. Once that's done, simply close and close the FES back. Last step is actually heading over to Steam. Right click on your game. Click on properties. Now under the launch option, all you have to do is simply type in hyphen DX11. Try running your game on DX11. However, for most PCs, it might crash. But if your GPU is really old and cannot run this game, you can try this. I have only heard of it on Reddit, but if it runs for you, it's good. Otherwise, you can go with DX12 and that would work perfectly fine for you guys. So guys, I hope this video might have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and I'm definitely 
counting on you guys to help me reach 250,000 subscribers. We are really close to it and your support would be really, really appreciated. I'll be seeing you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.